Well, hey and welcome to another motorcycle vlog, you guys. Motorbike vlogs. Oh, me. Look, here we are. Straight off the back of the Rosale vlog and beach tour. So for the you guys that haven't watched these vlogs before, I tend to try and do them like back to back. You know, so that I can get in maybe three vlogs and three tours in one journey, you know, just to be nice and efficient with fuel and all that, you know. But we're doing a project with a normal bike that we use for this, a 1200 Bandit. We're painting it green, yellow, white and black. So got the fire blade out just now. But it is cold. It was definitely frosty this morning. So I am going to be extra careful as we go. So yeah, so guys, going to head down to Findhorn, which is going to, if the sun stays out, is going to be a beautiful, it's just gorgeous, you guys. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And what are we, 10 minutes away, maybe? Oh, that's me in the mud. A wee bit muddy, muddy, muddy. We'll get the tyres scrubbed off when we get out, though. But yeah, just a little bit down the coast. And what I'm doing is trying to get farther, you know, closer to Inverness. Because that's where we're heading on our holidays this Easter. So, hopefully that just, oh, links everything up. Oh, that beautiful Land Rover, look at him. Oh, roof tent, gas bottles. Oh, me, 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 me. No, it's not a Land Rover. I think that's actually one of those, eh, uh, Azuzus, the old Azuzu. Right, so my tyres are going to be a bit muddy here, you guys, so I'm just going to have to be reasonably cautious in the way they are. But it should be a lovely little drive. Let me pull the visor down. Yeah, so we're basically in this uh, Rose Isle uh, Park. Now we'll come onto the main road once we've been through all this. Yes, yeah, so and the vlogs are there as a bit of a feature for our new and future readers, as it were, you know, but it's, it's always hoped that everybody would enjoy and, you know, and I always say, if you're housebound or in hospital, I just, I really hope you feel a part of it, you know, let me be the one that gets cold and hungry and thirsty. <laughs> just enjoy the view. And we do do some in the cars, obviously, you know, when it's a bit icy or snowy or just really cold. Um, but as you can see, if you've ever watched the car buns, this is far superior. You know, you've got nothing really to block your view. Yeah, what you have to watch is with the bikes is that, obviously if you go down on an angle into a corner, you're using another piece of rubber on the tyre. And there'll be muddle not just now, so... And through we come. Isn't it lovely, eh? Normally it's green, you guys, but obviously the farmers are getting us all ready for their planting, for the harvest. It's normally wheat. Here we go, it's a crossroads here, you guys, and we'll look ahead. Yeah, a little bit slidey. I can feel it. Ah. Yeah, I can't really come out here and give it give it the beans. In the case I'll just spin all the way up there. Which would be pretty cool as well though. There we go. A nice little drive this, you guys. Really, really nice. And we'll pass the army base as well, which is really nice. They're just new. Used to be a Royal Air Force base. Now it's the army. That's lovely. A golf course up here on the left. One of those pay and play, you know, just for a around a golf. Don't need memberships and all that. Really nice little course. I'll have to do it one day guys. Take you around it and see how we get on. I'm 
the lovely new houses up there. They're pretty recent. Yeah, down we come. Just lovely. We're just not far away at all, you guys. Yeah, and who'll hit next is uh, Kinloss. The kids go to Kinloss Farm quite a lot. You might have heard that mentioned in the past. So we're going to come down just through these trees. We'll come into Kinloss and then we'll head off down the coast to Findhorn, which will just take about five minutes. Just be careful in this corner there, you guys. You have a little bit of mud on the tyres, I think, still. Yeah, what I was a little concerned about today was ice. You know, it was icy this morning. But, you know, it's, it almost gets a bit milder towards the coast when it comes to ice. And I've waited till the afternoon and it's very clear. We should be absolutely fine. And it's still not going to take any risks, though. Yeah, just beautiful, you guys. So this base here, you guys, can loss was a very, very important one at the surveillance aircraft called the Nimrods. And of course, they were responsible for uh, NATO's uh, northern flank in the Cold War. <laughs> and you know something? We've actually had Russian aircraft carriers come right off our coast here. <laughs> so funny. I don't know what they're trying to prove. And uh, we've seen them out in the Murray Firth. It's, it's spectacular to see. But now we've got the army up here. And they are the, the, the army engineers, actually, more rightly. But this is basically just a garrison town. You know, this is all... These used to be all RAF guys, pilots and... The grind crew and that. And of course now you've got your army guys now that it's closed. Big worry at a time there, I'll tell you the local tradesmen even in Elgin. You know, they get about 25% of their income sometimes from the, the Air Force bases here and the army bases. So we're really glad of the army guys pulling in. As you can see, look, trades guys in doing the windows. Yeah, there's a big officer's mess there. Well, it, it was when it was the RAF. I worked there a couple of times. And over here on the right is the main gate inside. And you should see the armed guards. Well, no, you're not going to see them here. The guard room is just a little bit further up. But the guys are usually two soldiers armed at the gate. There's Kimlos Primary. Again, it's for the, it'll be for the army kids now. But the army kids like being called army brats, don't they? The army brats. Oh, it's brilliant. Sharon and I run a, a child mining service from home. And as soon as they come up here, we got one of the soldiers, a young lad, a young couple with a wee kitty, and they were just absolutely funny. They're so funny. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, it's quite long going through can lost though. And basically, guys, when we turn up, there's Kinloss Abbey. That's where we're going to go for the tour off the back of this one. But, guys, we're basically five minutes to... Uh, let's just make sure we're OK. We're basically five minutes to Findhorn down here, you guys. But what I'm going to do is drive through it and take you right to the coast so that you can see Rose Isle on Barg Head, just to see from where we've come. The old church there, eh? Nice. And of course, down here was the end of the runway. I don't know if the guys have aircraft here. I, I, I'd, I'd have to find out. I, mean, I know they have helicopters. I'm not sure if they have any actual aircraft like Hercules with the C-130s. I don't know. I'd have to find out. But basically, guys, down here is the end of the runway. And you used to see the Nimrods coming in eh, over the bay. It was just oh, really beautiful, you know. And it would come down quite low above your head. So this is the place to come if you really want to get close to these things.
Yeah, it's a way in. I've worked in RAF Lossy a lot of times and worked for at RAF Lossy Mouth as well, which is just down the coast. But here you go, this is the end here, you guys. Look, the end of the run, well, the start of the runway, I should say. As you'll see, look. I'll just turn my head quick. There's the base. Yeah, and of course the, the Nimrods have come down just over this bit of road here, look. Coming in from the bay. Just awesome. Great big aircraft, you know. Now, nobody behind me anyway. Right, let's go. It's a very, very popular destination, Findhorn. But yeah, guys, Findhorn and, uh, well, what it is, RAF can loss at the time, are mentioned in our third ebook, Captain Sharp's Trial. Had to get our had to get our Findhorn and RAF can loss in there. <laughs> in the books. But here we go, you guys. Always wave to bikers in Scotland, you guys. Yeah, the Findhorn, Findhorn Foundation. Oh my goodness. But this is super beautiful, you guys. And I'll give you a good look around, don't worry. The bay just looks amazing today, actually. I really need to take some good photos, you guys. Yeah, that roundhouse just there at the saw me and my boss worked in that place. We also worked on a right amazing one just here, in there, that one there, we worked on that one as well. I think that was my first couple of jobs at William Wilson's, actually, that too. I'll pull over, there's somewhere behind me, but I'll pull over up here a little bit, just to give you a quick view. Because this is us really coming into Findhorn Village now. Let's see where we're at. Once we get past these twin bushes, you know, that'll give you a nice look. Yeah, here we go, it's opening up a bit now. So I just pull over here, look. Make sure that dude behind me is see where we're going, eh? Look at this. That's all I can say. Look at this. So you see how far the water goes in on the bay. Now we can take our boat right right up the way around, but it's very shallow. You have to know where these sandbars are. Do you see the sandbars out there in the middle? How beautiful is that, eh? Oh, a nice little run for you today, you guys. There's nobody there. What I'll do is I'll look forward, you guys, and just tilt the camera to the side a little bit. I just have to pull off the road here, to the left. So for motorbikes or push bikes. You know, just what a seaside town, you guys. I mean, look at that. Imagine this in the summer. We're here in the start of March, you guys. Look. A lot of photographers as well. Oh, look at that thing. Go yourself, dude. That's lovely. W. Moody was one of my customers. Ian. We've got a lot of trades guys down today, actually. Look. The white vans. Who've we got? Electricians. Electricians again. Obviously, a big job. So you just got a little gap in the cars here. There is a car behind me, but I'll just pull it anyway. Yeah, what I'll maybe do, just because this place is so beautiful, you guys, is we'll head up, up away up to the coast just up there, but I'll take you back down on the way to um, Kinloss Abbey, just to give you another look, and that tour will be posted tomorrow, obviously. This is hugely popular, you guys, in the summertime. The boats are just, you know, crammed out there. Hey, some of the fire blades are not happy in low revs at the minute. Maybe the spark plugs are in a clean. Through we go, you guys. Crown and anchor. I really must treat my wife to a nice meal there one night, eh? 
Good, get out. Yeah, it's really, really nice. The last time I was down here was with the bandit. I am going to feel every single bump going down here, let me tell you. Let this dude in the van come through, I think, eh? Or is he flashing me? Yeah, I used to do heat and design. I used to design heating systems. I'm pretty sure we were my boss at that big place there as well, actually. I used to design the systems and supply them, obviously. But here we go. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of speed bumps down here, but I'm feeling everyone, everyone already. It's not good for the bike. Oh, this speed bumps are really broken. Yeah, so for the the tour that we'll do down at Kinloss Abbey, I'll basically drive back from where we're going just now. And we'll stop off on the way back. I think that's what we'll do, eh? Something like that. So this bit here, guys, is basically just all the parking for the beach that I'm about to take you to. And, oh man, yeah. I think we'll, we'll switch back to the bandit when the time comes, you guys. The bike I do fancy, though, because we've had our bandit in this bike for 12 years now, is the Kawasaki H2 for you bikers out there. I'd like the Kawasaki H2. The SX, hopefully. I'm going to park the bike right here, actually, you guys. There's a few folk down. Yes, yeah, so let's head on up, you guys, here. Oh, I'll keep my helmet on. It's actually, the wind's got down a bit now. I could probably take it off and stop me such a boost. Here we go. Just adjust the camera just a wee bit, you guys. Here we go. That's broken, obviously. Yeah, it'll just take us a, a minute or so to get three here up top. And then I can show you where we come from. Oh, what a lovely day. Oh, you'd smell the, the salt water and the, the wind bushes and that. It's nice. Yeah, we'll have to have a little look around before we go away. Yeah, but I thought the, the idea would be to, you know, if we go on the way back as part of the Kinloss Abbey tour, that'd be pretty good. Right. Oh, tight way out, you guys. Look at this. I'm sorry. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? You won't be able to see in the auction cam, but that's what they... I think that's the Cromarty Firth right there. And that's where a lot of the North Sea oil rigs come in for refits and stuff. Look at this. If you want one of these wee sheds, you guys, it's 30 grand. But look at that, eh? So basically, guys, straight ahead of the camera, there's Berg Head. And we were about, what, halfway down? About a third down, maybe? Over that direction in Rose Isle. And here we are in Finthorn. A lovely wee village. Kind of reminds me of the Amity on Jaws, you know, the, the little village Amity Island. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, and as you can see, the tide's way, way out, but guys, these beaches are pristine. They always are. I, I just, you just never see litter in these kind of beaches up here in Scotland, you know. A lot of us at the older retired folk pick up any rubbish that's lying around, you know. There's really, a lot of folk do a good job of keeping these places really nice, you know. But listen guys, what I think I'll do is I'll finish off the vlog here, and of course, I share the tour tomorrow anyway. So what I think I'll do is we'll head back on the bike along the front here, you know, just to get back down to uh, the Abbey, and then we'll give you a right good look around the Abbey, eh? That'll be awesome. But listen guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Loads more to come this year.